So the, the requirement specified was to um, look at an existing report. So we've created a sample report which, with two columns, you know, code and description. And uh, then what we're showing you is we have created a simple page. Uh, if I select the radio button for code, uh, I will save a custom report. And then if I upload that custom report file, I can call it uh, custom report one and save it. And if I call it custom report one and save it, it will now be a version of the same master report, but only with the code column. So you can see custom report one is there. And I can now see the code column. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go and create another custom report where only the description column should be displayed. And then the updated RDL file, I'm going to upload it and I'm going to call it uh, custom report two. And then if I save that, I can now run custom report two, which will only have the description column. So this is just a simple proof of concept to show that uh, you can, uh, any customizations that you want for an existing report can be now saved as a new report and is made available to the all, all the end users.